I'm Malcolm from Hiking New Zealand and the guys, guys in the office asked me to talk a little bit about backpacks. The key thing about backpacks is that they need to be comfortable and they need to do their job and they need to not be a focus of the, of, the, of the hike that you do. If you don't notice your backpack, then you've probably got the right backpack, it's doing a good job. So what do I look for in backpacks? Well, the first thing I'll say is I've been hiking, tramping, mountaineering for feels like about 150 years and I've seen a change in gear. It used to be solid and heavy and would robust and you could mongrel through anywhere and it would survive. And we've had this profound shift to lightweight, high tech stuff in the last 10 years or 15 years. And that's where my heart is now is in lightweight. So the first thing I'll say is, um, let's just, I've just got a, a modern little lightweight backpack here. I think all of the things that that you're looking for in a backpack only really matter if you're carrying a lot of stuff. I could carry a really uncomfortable backpack if I was only taking five kilos, it wouldn't bother me. So if you're doing multi-day trips and you're taking a lot of weight, you need to be very mindful that the pack is comfortable. It's the right pack for you. Two types of comfort in my book. One is that instant Nice and soft foam, oh this feels really lovely. The second is what I call the architectural comfort. So is, is the dynamics of the pack suitable for you? Is it long enough? Does it work uh, according to your gender? Women and men typically have, uh, on average, have, have a different architecture to their backs and their bodies and pack manufacturers have finally come to the to the play and accommodated that. So if you're a woman, make sure you have the option at least to try on female packs. When I put a when I put a pack on, I want the heavy stuff over my shoulders or close to the spine and the light fluffy stuff further away from me so I don't get pulled back. I'm trying to get my centre of gravity um, as close to, to what's natural as possible. So if you're heading into a shop to buy a backpack just make sure there's plenty of weight in it, uh, not just cushions or fluff. So get, get some heavy stuff in it to get a sense of it. And just be aware, a lot of shops have their favourite brands. Um, don't be talked into a cul-de-sac because the, the uh, sales staff are, are, have a small amount of knowledge or a particular knowledge. Just step back and, and, and don't, don't, be, don't be led astray. And um, hopefully you'll come out with a comfortable backpack and you'll... Uh, Make a good choice and you'll really enjoy the outdoors that's opening up to you. Okay, so to wrap it up, each pack has a purpose. Don't be a fuss pot. The most important thing is to have a pack that's comfortable, that works for you, and it's, it's big enough to do the job. And, and don't be led down the garden path by buckles, features, all sorts of whizzy whirly gigs. It doesn't matter. Particularly if you're not carrying a lot of gear, you don't need a high-tech, super-duper, this or that or other thing. 